Hi everyone. Going to paint some sheep today. Just a nice quickie painting. So let's draw in some sheep. Just using something like a 2B pencil or thereabouts. So we're looking for a triangle shape with rounded edges. And this sheep is going to be facing us like this with its face here and legs just down here. Needable eraser in case you need it. Big fat sheep happening. And one to the side. like a uh, rectangle so a rectangle here with the head going up so we're looking at something like this So draw those in, rub them back a little bit until you can only just see them. Then we're going to do some negative painting. So what I'm going to do is put some clean water in and around our sheep. Now I'm not going to worry about their ears too much about going over the top of that because they're very dark and they will be painted over the top of whatever the background colour is going to be. So just adding plenty of water there, going over the legs I'll just tilt that to the light so that I can see whether I've missed anything and I think I'm pretty good. So first of all I'm going to pick up a little bit of cobalt blue and just popping that in behind the sheep. Let's turn this around. So that's negative painting when you're not painting the actual sheep, but you want them to stand out. So there we go. So I want that colour to be fairly strong because I do want the sheep to jump out of the painting. Bring it down. A little bit more up here, a little bit stronger. And because it's, I'm working wet on wet, it's just nicely blending into each other. I'm not worried about having the colour very smooth. A little bit darker down the bottom because I'm going to add some yellow in here which will give me a little grassy area for the sheep to be sitting on. So I'm just taking a little bit of warm, warm yellow which is New Gombage if anybody's interested in the actual colour.
Just bring a little bit of that blue up here. I've got a lopsided sheep. There we go. So, where to go next? We can use a tissue, just a clean tissue. And we'll just lift out a little bit to give a feeling of possibly some clouds in the background. So that has to dry off and then we'll come back and work on the sheep themselves. So we're all dry. I'm just going to take a smaller brush now, just an O-round, and just using a little bit of yellow ochre, I'm going to start painting the sheep. So I'm virtually just using a glaze of the yellow ochre, so it's not a very strong colour. I'm just going around the edges and just pulling it across to give the appearance of wool. A little bit darker down the bottom. In fact, we could possibly come in with a little bit of burnt sienna there. And same with the other sheep. Yellow ochre. Just up around the face. Down the bottom. And just a little bit on their top knot too. It's a little bit darker on this one, just around this area here. Okay, just softening that off with a little bit of clean water. And I'm picking up now just a little bit of, uh, I think this is cobalt violet. And we'll just add some of that in the shady areas. Also a little bit under the faces where they would be getting a shadow from the actual head themselves. Okay, we just need to dry that off and I will come back and finish it off for you. Here we go. I'm just going to use a little bit of Sodalite Genuine now. If you haven't got that, you could use Payne's Grey 
or even indigo would be fine too. So we're putting the faces in. So like a triangle shape. ears <laughs> looks as though it's about to take off I'm just laughing at this one. It looks all prim and proper. Their legs. some back legs for this one so I'm just sitting down that soda light genuine a little bit just so that it's not as strong the color so we also need to ground these little sheep by putting a darker color at their feet I'm going to use the same color soda light genuine Give them a bit of a shadow there. And do a little bit of softening off. It's just plain water. Just softening back all those harsh lines. Okay, well that's bottom parts drying off I'm just going to do a little bit more shading on the sheep just with a soda light genuine still so where this sheep here is overlapping this one we do need a little bit of shadow in there so we're just taking the soda light genuine and softening off And also a little bit along the tummy. So just up between the legs here. And again, under those faces, they need some shadow. Softening off. And the same on the other one, a bit of sodalite genuine here, and again a little bit of shading just down the bottom. And under the face. Again, softening off. Just 
getting in there with a bit of the sodalite, softening off again, a little bit of water. going to take a pen now. This is just a Stedletter pigment liner, a one. You could use any, any brand. You could even use a gel pen or even a pencil would be fine. So little curly lines, I'll give you a close up in a minute. Great children's gift, gift for anyone really. Lots of people love sheep, very popular. So there we have our lovely woolly sheep. Just darkening up some of those legs. You don't have to worry too much about the legs. If you want to, you could add a few little grasses. This is a great little beginner's project, so if you haven't painted sheep before, definitely have a go because they're fun to do. You could do them on the on a card, bit of cardboard like this one, which is Archie's 300 GSM cold pressed. Uh, this one is actually about 5 inches by 5 inches, or you could do them on a greeting card and give them away as a gift and you could use any colours you don't have to use what I've used I'm going to pop this in a mat and in a frame and show it to you because they just look fabulous once they framed so hang on I'll just go and grab a mat and show you how it looks framed so here we have our sheepies Let's have a look at them with a mat on them. There we go. Now, I just wanted to mention to you something about matting and framing. What you need to do is line your image up with where you want it to sit in the mat, turn it over, and then use some good tape. This is a gummed paper tape that I get from my framers. And we do a hinge here. So the reason for mounting it with a hinge is so that the paper can expand and contract with the humidity in the air. There we are. So here we have our sheepies all framed up. Fabulous project for beginners. 
or just those that want to do something really whimsical for a gift or to put in their own homes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me paint these little sheep in a pen and wash method and hopefully you will do your own. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to hear about future videos that I'm doing and share, share, share. Thanks for watching. Bye.